Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use the ACF option page feature. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. So what is an ACF options page? Well basically it's a dedicated area in the WordPress admin that allows users to manage global site-wide settings from a single centralized location instead of having to edit them on individual pages or in layouts etc. When you create an options page, it gets added to the WordPress admin sidebar here. And when we visit the page, we see options that we have added to the area. There are many use cases for this feature, but it's ideal for allowing users to change or add data on the website without having access to the builder directly. Let's look at an example. I've imported the music pre-built here and I have added the ACF Pro plugin from the Avada plugins page. To get started, I will head to ACF Options Pages from the menu here. From here I will create the options page. I'll just click on Add Options Page and give it a title of Live Appearances. If you use the Tab button, it creates the menu slug and you can also select a parent page if you want. Under Advanced Settings there are some further options around visibility, labels and permissions and you can do things like choose an icon, give the menu position, and change the label on the update button etc. I'll just choose an icon here, and as for position, there is a link here to learn about menu positions, and if I give this a value of 6, it will display just under posts. With permissions you can easily limit the options page access to any WordPress capability, and therefore any user role you like. Ok, now we have the options page created, we need to populate it. I'll just come to ACF Field Groups and add a field group. This is the data that's going to be inputted by the user. I'll give the field group a name, let's say Live Appearances again, and I will start adding some fields. So on this options page I want a team member, probably the publicist in this case, to enter locations for the band's upcoming media appearances, like at radio stations and shopping centres etc. These will then display on a banner in the header. So there are two things I want the user to be able to do here. The first is to enter the details of the live appearances, and the second is to be able to turn the banner off if there aren't any. So let's start with the details of the live appearances. For this I will choose a field type of repeater. I will give it the field label of locations, and as I tab away this populates the field name. Next I need to add a subfield. This will be a text field. I'll call this location details. Ok, that's all I need there. I'll now add another field, and this will be a radio button. I'll call it Turn Banner On Off, and tab out of it. With choices I will add On and Off, each on their own lines. As you can see in the description here, for more control you may also specify both a value and a label. I will set the default value as Off, and the return value to be a value. Ok, so finally on this page I just need to set the rules for where these fields display. So I will say show this field group if the options page is equal to live appearances. Ok, let's save our changes. Ok, so that's all we need to do in ACF. Let's move to the header now where we can build our banner. I have added a new container at the top of this header and set it to a minimum height of 40 pixels and set the row alignment to center. I've also removed all padding and set the container background color to color 4. Finally, on the Extras tab, I want to set Conditional Rendering to pick up the On-Off option we added on the Option page. So I'll click on Add New Logic, and choose ACF Field as the condition type. For the field name, we need Turn underscore Banner underscore On underscore Off, but because this is coming from an Options page, we need to prefix this with AWB underscore ACF OP underscore. For the Relational Operator, we want this to be equal to and here this will make the container render if that is on. If it's set to off on the options page, the container simply won't render. Ok, let's move to the content. For that we want a title element. I'll set the title type to marquee, and on the design tab I'll set the heading tag to div, and set the lead global typography set here, and adjust the colour to colour 1. The titles on this site also have default margins applied, and in this instance I don't want any, so I'll also just set 0 pixels top and bottom margin. Ok, so now to the title content. This will be dynamic data, pulled from the ACF repeater field. So I will click on the title dynamic data options, and scroll down to the ACF section, 
and select ACF Repeater Single Value. The first option is the repeater field name, that's location, but again because it's coming from an ACF Options page, we need to prefix the name with this code, and then I can add location. For the subfield name, I need location underscore details. For the index, I could choose a single repeater item index such as 1, 2, 3, but as the description says I can use all or minus 1 to select all indices, for exactly the fact I'm chasing here with a marquee title. And I will set separator at end to yes. And for the before field, I will add upcoming appearances. Ok that's about it, I think I will just slow the marquee down somewhat with a value of 25,000. Ok so let's save this header. And now let's go back and look at the front end of this site. Remember I have set the rendering logic of the banner to not render if the banner has been turned off, and that was also the default value. So here we have no banner. Now let's say our editor has logged in because our band is on a quick promotional tour. For our example, let's say as webmaster I have not allowed access to layouts or the builder to them, as they just add posts and other content such as the live appearances data. So in that situation they would just go to Live Appearances from the dashboard and this is what they would see. The banner is off as we can see, so let's say they turn that on, and then add some Live Appearances via this page. I can just add a row and enter the details of the Live Appearances. Let's just add a few more of these. And now we just update the page. So now if we come back to the home page and refresh, our banner appears and the location details of the live appearances slide across the screen. How cool is that? There are any number of uses for an ACF options page. Let us know in the comments how you have used one. Ok that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.